Hello. All right, we're going to do our cinnamon swirl bread, finish it up. Um, you should have your um, dough. Either it it should have risen on the counter for, you know, maybe two hours or overnight in the fridge, which is what I did. And then I let it just sit out for, um, you know, an hour, maybe 45 minutes just to let it not be so cold and come up to temperature. But a couple of things that you need to have done and to have out before we get started. You need your rolling pin. Um, go ahead and get your bread pans and make sure you've greased them. And so I just took um, a paper towel and shortening. You could use butter and I just greased the sides all the way up to the top, the bottom, and made sure to get in all of these corners. Okay? Really important because those are the places where things like to get stuck. So down all around the bottom, up each little corner side so everything should be covered. Now today I'm doing some mini loaves and this one's a smaller one too. You may just have one big loaf which is fine. Um, I just am doing smaller ones so I can give some of them away today. The other thing that you need out is our cinnamon sugar flour mixture from class. Just make sure you have that handy. And then finally we need a little bowl and an egg and a little bit of water. We're going to make an egg wash and so we're going to do that by cracking one egg, one whole egg, into this little bowl. I'm going to add to it one tablespoon of water. Okay. So when I measure out water into a tablespoon, it's very difficult to pour it in or to get it from the sink. I like to put it into a little cup and then just dip it in. And that way I don't spill it. It's not a big mess. So remember, the reason that we're doing this is because it's going to kind of create more like a sort of like a barrier um, for our cinnamon sugar and help keep from having really big gaps in our bread. Sometimes when you cut open a swirl bread or a raisin bread or something like that, there are these really big gaps in the dough. It's, it's okay. It doesn't look as pretty. It kind of falls apart. And sometimes the filling falls out of it. Uh, it's a very common problem. And part of that is because of the water in the um, both the butter that you may be putting in if you do butter instead of the egg wash, and also because um, sugar likes to draw out water, so it kind of exaggerates the problem. Um, so to prevent that, we're going to do an egg wash instead of butter, and hopefully get that nice tight swirl. If you are adding in any raisins, remember we chopped them up really fine. You may get a little bit more of that separation just because it's something bigger, but if you're just doing the cinnamon, it should make a nice swirl. All right, so your dough should have risen. Hopefully it has uh, gotten significantly bigger, doubled in size. Recipes a lot of times say to punch down the dough. Um, you don't literally <laughs> need to like be violently punching it, um, but just take your hand like a fist and like gently kind of press it on the top, just pushing out that extra air. It is alive. Remember, our dough is alive. We don't want to be violent with it. Damage it. Okay, so when you feel like you've gotten out the extra air, Go ahead and take it out. <laughs> take it out. Now, I'm going to pause my video right here because I'm going to cut mine into a little bit smaller sizes since I'm using um, the smaller pans. If you're you're doing, um, you know, one loaf, you don't need to do anything. If you doubled the recipe, you can just cut it right in half. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And if not, you can just go ahead and start the next video.